Hi, I'm going to show you my album, even though the cover is not finished. I had done some pictures on this a while ago. It's one of those that I just need to finish. Um, it's been finished, so I thought I'll go ahead and do the video. I started to work on the cover, but I've stopped because it's one of those I've gone blank. So this is the Sparkling Poinsettia by Heartfelt Creations. And I actually made this album when it very first came out. And the album cover, I can't remember, is a seven by eight and a half cover. And there will be a tutorial on this because I'm going to make a, another style of this album, but a different theme. So when you open it, I've done also a lot of cutting with my Cricut. So on the cover, I love the fact that um, Heartfelt Creations has a lot of the cut parts, just like Graphic 45. They're a little different though. And then, like I said, I did a lot of cutting on the Cricut for the tags. And then that's, so I did a cover that has the two tags on the inside. And also, I'll just show you one. I did all the pull-out tags. But I used a really heavy, the 110-pound cardstock. So I'm not going to cover these also because the album was getting so thick if I do cover them. I'm going to have problems and then I love the way they just stick out. I don't usually leave my tags blank, but I'm going to because by the time pictures are put on here, it's going to be huge. So this is one of the cut aparts and when you open it, there's a small pocket and the recipient will be able to put their picture in there or whatever they like. And then again, you'll just notice all the different frames. Uh, these are all cut aparts that come on the sheet. And then this opens again to reveal another frame where another photo can go. And then again, I just did some cutting on the Cricut. So on our next page, we have the two pockets right on the page. So it looks like they're basically sitting up in a mantle with two tags. Oh, I did cover the back of a lot of these tags. I just loved working with this paper. And then another small tag. This is actually one of the tag cut apart from the paper line itself. And here I did a pocket. And this I just did with my EK Success uh, rounded corners, the ruffled punch, or I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Again, did these with the Cricut. And then another one of the cut aparts with the ribbon. And this is a double pocket that I did. So I cut just the cardstock and then I cut another, um, my top layer of paper for the two small tags. That go back inside. Then on here we have a trifold, just with the added lace and some embellishments. This embellishment is actually one from that I sell. It's on Country Craft Creations and Hooper. It's on my Facebook store. You, they're ribbon closures, so you can bring your ribbon through those. And then I just added a big stone at the top, and just a little corner, and then a, a cut apart from the line, and again another cut. Uh, Cricut cut and then a cut apart from the line. And here we have just a frame that I did on the, the Cricut. And then this will open for lots of pictures there. And this is a frame, so a picture can go inside or on the back of, of the tag and put down in. And then of course the tag. Oh, and I had done the gusset on the side here because of the bulk bulkiness, and then also it'll it'll become even more bulky when pictures are added. So for this one, down here at the bottom, I just did a corner piece from the Cricut, and then these two little tags come from the paper line. Just set those down inside. These look crooked because of, there we go. So these are two tags. And you just pull those out of the pocket. And I overlapped the pockets. 
and then I put a small basic gray magnet back behind. It's actually inside of this mat so that that would hold down when you pull it out. There we go. And here we have just a, a piece of lace that I made a belly band. And then on this tag, there's also another space for a tag or a picture. Now on here, there is a magnet down on the paper and then there's a magnet back here. So it holds the tag from falling out and you can actually just pick it up and move it. And then when you put it back down, the magnet will grab it. These corners I also sell. They're now in stock in my store. Well, they're not on the website. They're on my Facebook, Country Craft Creations and Hooper Facebook store, which connects to my store, but these are in the photos. So if you're interested. And then here we have just a tiny pocket for some tiny little cutouts that came with the paper line. Just the little postage stamp. And the reason I put those in there, I know they're really little because once you put a picture down, then they can use these on top or it's extra decorating. Then the, this will just sit right there and then this opens. And that was the paper, isn't it cute? That I just added. And then that folds over. And here again, this is a cut on the Cricut and they're really easy to do. And then I just turned it into a flap and then this will lift up and it's a great place for another family photo or of the kids. And for our last page, I did an envelope with one of the tags. Just a magnet underneath my ribbon and then this is also another one of the tags that I cut from my Cricut and made a pocket back there and then for the back I just uh, cut one of the sayings I thought it was really gorgeous and it says happy new year nice way to end the album cut the you'll see these I've got a bunch cut there are the die cut that Heartfelt Creations makes and this is one of their die cuts of the poinsettias and actually they're really nice die cuts So I've been really experimenting with them. I like them And so I think they'll be coming into the store soon and that is the album That was one of my favorite papers with the silhouette of the candle and hopefully I'll get the front done soon and then I can show you my front Thanks for watching